a lot of the time it's planned. The girls are out here planning, they're mood boarding, they're packing accordingly, they're creating looks. It's art. Hi, I'm Yasmin Bedward, the traveling social media manager. Welcome back to my channel. Got a fresh retwist. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about how to create content when you are traveling. Like me, right now, I'm traveling. This is not your usual, my usual background and setup because I'm on a trip. And I wanted to share ways that you can still create content while on the road, while traveling, while on a trip, while on a road trip, so that your Instagram feed stays popping, stays up to date, and that everyone can always come back to your feed whenever you have some new content. But you have to have the new content, and I'm about to show you how it's done. Let's go. So the first thing is create a mood board. I'm pretty sure y'all are tired of me talking about a mood board, but it's key in creating content for me because it helps you ideate and formulate a plan if you know exactly what the photos you wanna take are, what the background looks like, what the scenery looks like. So I typically start on Pinterest. I create a Pinterest board with one, the place that I'm visiting, like it, for example, Mexico City. I know that there are a few monuments in Mexico City that I wanna visit and I started a Pinterest board called Mexico City, for example. And it's all of, you know, the colors and textures of Mexico City. And then also I start to pin women in Mexico City so that I can see what other travelers look like in certain locations, the type of outfits they wore. Again, I'm getting inspiration. So I really use mood boards as a way to get ideas about the type of content that I'm gonna be creating. I know I'm gonna be at Frida Kahlo's house. I know the majority of the house is the color blue. So I'm either gonna pick corresponding colors that match or I'm gonna wear blue too and then just be blued out, okay? Marathon continue. <laughs> but it's just a place to start. But if, if I don't have anything to start with, I don't know where to go from there. That's why I always suggest mood boarding first because it really helps you formulate a plan and have a vision of what it is that you're trying to execute. Trust me, it's going to help. You need a mood board, get a mood board. You can start one on a digital platform like Pinterest. You can create a collage in your phone. You can do it in real life. You know, pick um, scraps out of a magazine, pick textures and textiles. You can go to fabric stores, pick some fabric swatches. All this stuff is free. You can go to Home Depot, pick paint swatches. Again, free. Put a color story together, put uh, an aesthetic together. Pick a mood, pick a vibe, pick a set, pick a location, pick a color, pick a style, pick, pick it all, okay? It's like window shopping, it's so much fun. Number two is pack some looks, okay? What we wearing, we going on Fashion Nova, what we buying, what's up, okay? But you need to get the look <laughs> together. I think the looks really make the background sort of pop along with editing, but cohort sets and like matching your background. And I know you're thinking, well, how can I know what background I'm gonna be in? How do I know what's a pack? That's what your mood board is for. I'm sure you, when you are going on a vacation or when you are going on a trip, you know exactly some monuments that you wanna go to. I'm gonna continue to use Frida Kahlo's house as an example because it's like a, a Mexico City staple when you visit there. But you can look at pictures of the house, the inside, the outside, and you can kind of see what the colors are of the house or the environment or the backyard or the garden. And you can pack looks accordingly to the places that you plan to visit. You always see those travel influencers that really, you can tell when they take the time to curate some content because their outfits are popping, they suddenly match the background, and sometimes that, that can happen on accident, but a lot of the time it's planned. The girls are out here planning, they're mood boarding, they're packing accordingly, they're creating looks. It's art. So I highly recommend after you mood board and you know exactly where you're gonna be, you wanna start to pick things that accentuate that background, that vibe, that energy. Number three, scout locations. 
Now, once you get settled into your hotel, Airbnb, hostel, whatever, you wanna take a minute to walk around the block, do some rounds, okay, so that you can start to scout locations and pick where it is that you wanna take some photos. Now, I know to some people this might sound like a bit much and a little bit extreme because we got time and I don't know, I wanna go on vacation, I wanna have a good time, then this video is not for you. But if you are trying to create looks and moments, Okay, on Instagram, lean into it, sis. You're not, you're not alone here. I do it, we all do it. You wanna start to walk around your area to see where it is that you wanna take some pictures, okay? In addition to the places you know you're gonna go take pictures. Like, we already know we're going to this location, this location, and this location, but I'm gonna walk around the area to see if any of these other buildings or if any of this architecture or if any of these textures and colors and layers fit my vibe. That way I can get some additional content. So, scout your location, you know what you're gonna wear, you know the vibe, you have the mood board set so you know exactly what you're looking for and you're not just walking around aimlessly. Okay, you're doing it with intention. You're moving with intention for the gram, okay? Number four, ask a favor or bring a tripod. Basically, time to get the content, take some pictures. Now, usually if I go on certain girls trips with other women who are also influencers or content creators, it helps and make it easier. It makes it easier because we can just take each other's photos as an exchange and we just pick a day and we like, listen, we gonna take pictures on Saturday. You take my picture, I take your picture, take, take. We switch, we rotate, blah, blah, blah. You can do your outfit change. And you can also bring multiple looks to one location. So if you know Frida Kahlo House, you know, she has different colors and textures and you know, different areas of the house that you wanna film in, you can bring another outfit. It's a bathroom, change, get your second look, same location, two looks new content we can't be posting the same outfit back to back to back to back no so when you are traveling you're gonna have to ask a favor ask a friend or somebody nearby to take your photo usually if i'm trying to take my own picture by myself someone is like can i take it for you and i'm just like thanks but no, I personally, like I like to take my own picture sometimes, it's just easier, but sometimes if I need help, like yes, please, thank you so much, don't steal my phone, I run fast, don't try me. So, you know, you gonna have to ask for a favor or bring a tripod. Or another bonus tip, which I didn't even think about till right now, bonus tip, you can look for photographers in the areas that you're traveling. So with Airbnb, you can now do Airbnb experiences. I personally put my yoga classes on Airbnb experiences. That way anyone traveling to the city, or if for example you, if you're traveling to a city, you can look up experiences in your neighborhood, in the neighborhoods that you're traveling to. A lot of those experiences are photographers. So find your photographer and they're reasonably priced. Um, and it's an experience like they'll be able to take you to locations that you maybe have never heard of in that area or are interested in and that way you can do your tour, take your photo, have a good time, it's a great time. Or there are photographers in certain areas that are looking to exchange, like they need models to help build their portfolios and you need pictures. Bow! Content! Next is edit in batches or batch edit. You wanna do this, again, get you a preset. A preset is basically a filter that you put on all your photos so that all your photos look the same, top to bottom, no matter what type of picture you upload, no matter what the color is, all of your photos will come together and look cohesive and consistent with the preset. You can do a manual edit and just make sure you edit every single picture the same or you can just invest in a preset and then you batch edit so you just copy one edit and paste it onto all your photos. Snapseed allows you to do this, Adobe Lightroom allows you to do this and Viscocam allows you to do this. And those are all three apps that I have used, use and recommend. So you can batch edit that way. That way all the time is taken out of the process. You literally take the photo, select your top photos, edit one photo, copy those edits, paste it on all of them. Job's done. We're done. Finished. Done.
Done. My next tip is post in your time zone. So check your time zone. Usually, if you're traveling like over time zones or overseas, you're gonna be in a different time zone than what you're used to posting, right? So I post my photos usually at 6.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That means when I'm in LA, I have to post at 3.45, I think. 3.45. Three, four, five, six, yeah, three. Math is not, don't judge me, stop. That means I have to be up at 3.45, ready for my post to go live because that is when I know I have the most engagement, at 6.45 Eastern Standard Time. So whenever you're traveling, you have to check that time zone for your highest engagement rate. That way you can still upload your photo at the allotted time even though you're traveling. You feel me, bruh? Number seven, this is like a little extra tip, is film behind the scenes photos. So, and like behind the scenes video and footage, because when you post your photo, even though you might not post it the day that you filmed it, people are still gonna want some behind the scenes stuff and you're gonna wanna post stuff on your stories that day and you kinda want it to be relevant to the photo that's on your feed. You don't have to do this, but it's just gonna help you with engagement. So for instance, bam, you go to Mexico for a weekend, you took your photos, you wear Frida's house, you down by the river and you getting it. What? You getting it. Bow. You got your photos edited, you bash them, bop, 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 bop. Edits looking fleeky, you feel me? Then you head on back to your hometown, right? You went home in the bed with your bonnet on. But the photo on your feed, okay, is you down by the river, okay? What you wanna do is film a little bit behind the scenes, even if it's a clip or two of you like, hey, walking to the river to go get photos taken for my website, whatever. Whatever it is, if it's you walking your feet, your sandals, if you wanna pan the room of your outfits, if you wanna lay your outfits out on the bed and be like, look at what I'm wearing today, oh my gosh. Or if you just wanna be like dancing to a song or whatever and you're just like, oh yeah, in the same outfit or whatever. Or you could put all the stuff back on and redo all that content if you want to, but you know, it's up to you. But I would just recommend you get some behind the scenes stuff to post on the day that you upload the photo. That way your stories can match what's on your feed. So that was my final tip for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, leave a comment below with the word year, so I know you watched to the end. Please make sure you subscribe, thumbs up this video, share my channel with a friend, and I'll see you next Sunday. That means I post videos every Sunday, so come back. Ah! If you're new to my channel, please hit that button to subscribe. And if you want to check out more videos, tap here. See you next week.